What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today I'm here with the donor, donor, don, donor, donor, don, don, DMK uh, 25 Mini. Uh, donor, the folks at Donner, I'm gonna just call them Donner from this point on. They sent this over to me to do a review on and uh, we're gonna drop it in. We're gonna talk about it and we're gonna see what this thing is talking about. You know, I've been seeing this thing on Amazon for like about a year or so and always been kind of like in thrall by it. So I uh, thought about getting it, hadn't had a chance to, and they finally reached out to me and saw it. So it uh, comes with the instruction manual, uh, all that stuff like that. Um, yeah, welcome thing. Uh, it's real tight in the box. Um, and let's get it out and let's see what we got. So here's the keyboard, nice, small, slim line. I really like that, the, uh, the slim line build of it. Uh, it's actually thinner than what I thought it was. Like, I didn't know that it would be this thin, but like that is, that's pretty, that's pretty thin. Uh, USB cable, it's actually, it's, it's zebra striped. Wow. Wow. And it's USB-C. So boom, USB-C. So they packed a lot into this. You got the uh, eight pads. Uh, they feel pretty good. You got the transport controls. You got four little mini faders here that feel decent. Uh, and then you got four little knobs. And then you got some other little buttons we'll explore. Uh, but the keys, they feel pretty good. Let me, let's plug it up. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we can get into with this. One other thing I wanted to point out, they got this baby sustain jack with a micro, like one eight inch sustain plug, not included. So it's pretty cool, uh, you know, small keys. I, of course, I have freakishly hard, large hands. So my hand is, one hand is almost bigger than the whole thing, but I can actually play some chords on this. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it, this definitely works and I appreciate the compactness of it, especially because I have a very small compact desk here. Uh, so I appreciate having a very uh, compact nature. It's not something that's too big. Um, you have the transport controls, uh, all of that stuff like that you have. Uh, and that's really cool. Actually, a little light show that goes along with the, with the, uh, with the pan. So let me get in there so you can see that. Uh, you probably can't see it on here. So if I go here, you'll see what I'm talking about. That's, that's actually pretty cool. And I haven't seen that because like they got the little sliders on other little keyboards, but this one, the fact that it's got some kind of like visual component to it that shows you what you're doing. So it's modulation is on, modulation is off. That's pretty cool. Pads light up different colors, you know? So that's cool. Uh, you got your transport controls, you got transpose controls, you got pad bank, and then you got pad program, uh, and then your knobs, which feel really good, decent uh, bank and stuff like that. Then you've got some, you know, kind of advanced options and things like that. So that's actually pretty dope. That's actually pretty cool to have this level of compactness and control uh, in something so small uh, as this or what have you. Uh, again, keys feel good. It doesn't feel like they don't feel cheap as I thought they would. I thought they would actually feel really, really treat cheap, but they don't. So here's the cons with this. It's small. You only get uh, like, you know, 25 keys, but they're kind of really small, mini micro keys. Depending on what you need it for, this may not be a con for you. You know, something like this to kind of go in your bag, it's actually gonna be pretty travel worthy. Uh, I would prefer maybe 32 keys. They seem to work a little bit better. It gives me a little bit more space to kind of do some stuff, but uh, 25 is not bad, the keys are small, but the biggest con is that this does not come with any software whatsoever. You get zero kind of software with this. Uh, M Audio, they have cheaper keyboards than this, cheaper micro keyboards than this, and you get software with it. Uh, so, you know, uh, you can take that for what it's worth. If software is not a big thing for you, you're probably not, if you're looking at this, you probably already got software that you can use with it. So it plugs right into whatever you're already using. Uh, but uh, that would be my major con with it is just the fact that it does not have any software. That's, that's I mean, that's not too much more of any cons. The keys feel great. The pads feel great. Uh, sliders and all of that feel great. 
It has these little, you know, lights and stuff like that, which is cool. And it's in the hundred dollar range. So you're going to spend a hundred bucks for something like this. Uh, that's going to give you, you know, some nice keys, some nice control uh, and things like that. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope this video helped you. I hope it blessed you. I hope it gave you something to think about. There's an affiliate link down below. If you should decide that you want to uh, purchase this, go ahead, click that link. Helps out the channel, all those things like that. But the thing that's not going to cost you a dime for your time is you can hit the like button. You can hit the share button. You can drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, and uh, uh, subscribe. Turn on notifications. Uh, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out. I'll let you boy.